what's up? I'm so excited to just finish the workout. Now I'm even more excited about what we're kind of jumping into. Dustin and I, I know we haven't done great at getting vlogs out to you guys and this is our kind of turnaround time. So today we're gonna head to our house and do our home tour and our 700,000 subscribers Q&A. We're gonna try to turn these around quickly and keep this something that's consistently a part of the channel because you guys deserve to see everything that's going on outside of the workouts. So let me know if you can comment below, let me know if this is something that interests you. This is our first kind of attempt at a big vlog since a while ago. So bear with us. I hope you guys enjoy this. I can't wait to get into this with you. As you know, I've been wanting to do the vlogs for so long and here we go. So let's head over to the house. I'll see you there. All right, we are taking you guys over to our new house and to give a little backstory, we've lived in Charlotte since 2014. Lived in three different places. We've rented ever since we moved here. Always liked being near the city. I will say there was a slight bit of me that thought maybe we should move out away from the city to get some more yard and just have a bigger space but when it came down to it uh, Dustin has always liked being in the city I've always liked the energy of the city so we knew that we still wanted to kind of be around people in our city so we are going to take you to our first home that we purchased together show you kind of the progress on it now it's not done and we're not designing or building it we kind of found it in the building process so we're gonna keep showing you guys updates as it comes to life and it should be done apparently by the end of November if all things go well. So we're gonna take you there now and do the 700,000 subscribers Q&A. Dustin, do you have anything to say? Let's <laughs> Let's <laughs> so here is our home. You guys asked and we wanna take you through over the next couple weeks our home building process, all the progress, which we are super um, nervous and excited and anxious and impatiently waiting to see. Here we go. This is officially our flex room. Extra space, kind of the reason we bought the house. We're not exactly sure what to do with it. We thought home gym, then we thought media recovery room, lounge room. Squat rack, and then we're going to put a cable machine here, dumbbells here, TV here, and then I guess Instead of a wet bar, we're gonna have a supplement bar. So it's gonna have like a little fridge, sink, and then we'll have supplements there, I guess. And then you have the front yard view, which is really rare. And I guess this is one of the main reasons we bought the place too. Anywhere in the city, normally people are looking in your windows. And this is the first place we've ever seen that no one's able to see through there, no one's able to see through here. We don't know what to do with this space, but we just love how big it looks. Um, um, Sid wants a Stairmaster, so we've talked about putting a Stairmaster there. We've also talked about making this like the ultimate movie rooms. Huge couch, bean bags, the love sack things, big TV, surround sound all over the place, popcorn machine. What do you guys think? Comment below. Media room, ultimate recovery, lounge room, home gym. We're gonna have to get used to the stairs again. And now we're rocking right into living room, dining room, and kitchen. You okay? <laughs> Main floor overview. First thing, I love these little details on the railings. Uh, I've always had, we just had walls on all our stairs, so I love this little detail on the railings, and I'm assuming they'll paint this as well. Like I said, it's not done at all, but we are now walking into the cuisine, the kitchen, which is what I am most excited about. We live and run in this area, doing some Instagram or Facebook Live with you guys. But as you can see, some of the cabinets are being put in. We're actually gonna have them painted white, so just make a little brighter aesthetic. We don't have a dining room table, so we'll have to get one of those. We've never had a space big enough for a dining room table. So bathroom number two, half bath here. Then the pantry will be here. Also very excited about that. We have a very small pantry where we are now. I really love the detail of the tiles on the fireplace. Never had a place with the fireplace. TV mounted up here. Probably a little table, like our little white marble table right over here. And hopefully a big comfy couch right in here. Apollo is gonna love the window space. I'm sure there'll be birds on the power lines, but something I love about these doors is that they open step out onto the patio. Nice and bright in here too. I'm really excited about how bright full of windows it is. Holly and Marcy are gonna love it. 
The third floor is bedroom. So we're gonna go into master bedroom first. I'm not gonna show everything or too much, but here is our master bathroom. Shower, sink, toilet, linen closet. Closet number one. And closet number two. Boop. I don't know if this is yet. We'll figure it out. I'm sure one's bigger. I'll gladly take it. Moving out of the master bedroom, linen closet, probably heating and cooling units in here. And bedroom number, or bathroom, sorry, for the spare bedrooms. This will probably be our home office area. I'm kind of excited to open up this closet and kind of make a little gadget gear closet for Dustin with some shelves and organization. He's got so much stuff and it's all kind of piled in different spots. Never had a third bedroom, so this is bedroom number three for friends, family when they come over. Laundry room. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs to one of my favorite spots, rooftop terrace. Okay, the rooftop. I'm so excited about this. I have visions for this area. I love a little workout space. Some turf here, some river flooring here. I have the city kind of in the background, so that's my vision for this side. And if we take you over to this side, we've got kind of an entertainment area. They're building a grill in. I think the grill is here. The sink is here. We have speaker wiring so we can move some music out here. We're thinking of, here's our vision. TV, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dustin. TV here, little table with kind of a mini fire pit here, right? U-shaped couch or L-shaped couch here. And then back in this corner, have bench here, bench here little table here. So there's kind of like two different environments. One with the TV, the grill, and then one just kind of out here on the edge. You can look up and see the skyline, which is what we're obsessed with in Charlotte. I think it was definitely the selling point for our second apartment that we ever got. But I'm so excited to just make this place come to life up here. Okay, there you have it, the conclusion of our current status of our home tour. You guys kind of asked to stay updated and I would love to keep you updated. So that's where we are right now. Also, as a huge thank you for 700,000 subscribers, we're gonna do a quick Q&A. We got about 5,300 entries and I'm gonna try to do my best, my very best, to be brief. <laughs> Question number one, I know you pre-plan all your workouts before a new challenge. Do you ever do a dry run to make sure it flows? I always wonder if you ever get through the workout and you think that did not go like I thought it would. So I don't necessarily do dry runs of the workouts, I just kind of have established a style and an understanding of how we're all gonna work through the workout. That's also the best part about me doing the workout with you is if we do get into the workout and it feels like, okay, I can't do any more with my back or my legs, I'm doing it rep for rep with you. So uh, I've also kind of mastered the craft of making sure that I don't wear out any parts of your body and, and doing the workout with you, I can adjust if I need to. Okay, next question. How long do you think you'll be doing this for and will you ever think of not doing the workouts daily? Will you ever be tempted to have paid subscriptions for your workouts if you were offered that by another company? So we actually have been approached by a couple different companies asking us to come onto their platform with the workouts and as of now, we've turned them all down. It's a really tough question to answer, yeah. really, right? Because yeah. when a company says, if you converted 10% of your YouTube subscribers or viewers, which when they say viewers, what they mean is the people that watch Sydney's videos every single day, yeah. not just subscribers. So YouTube's the only social media platform that doesn't require you to have an account to use the platform. And it also works, since YouTube's owned by Google, it works like an SEO-based type thing. So if you watch Sydney's video yesterday and then you come to YouTube today and you don't even have an account, Sydney's workout video is gonna be right on the front page. So. When, when that happens, people tend to forget to subscribe because you don't have a reason to be notified. Knowing Sydney posts something every single day at 5 a.m., where that comes into play is the amount of subscribers that she should have if people actually subscribe would be closer to like 1.7 or 1.8 million subscribers. And when a company reaches out and says, conservatively, if, if you only converted 10% of the subscribers over at $29.99 per month, you would be an X. Yeah, that's, it's hard not to see those numbers and think like what good you could do with that. We, we would be able to hire a full staff um, to help us 
relax more, not edit so much. We could have a whole team bringing better features. We could have graphics animators like making animations for this. We could hire extra talent to be in the videos with Sid as like a, a modifications person. We could uh, afford better music. We could have someone working on licensing real music or have an app where things come to you quicker and better, um, better features, the ability to do things like choose your own music or mute the music or do whatever you want. It's, we don't have any plans right now of taking it down. We wanna be able to create our revenue to be able to afford to give free videos in other ways, but there have been say, the largest companies in the world have reached out to us and we've turned them down. Next question, uh, this is so selfish of me to ask. I saw that you and Dustin are hoping to have kids. Is there going to be some sort of plan for the workouts when you need time off? I get so attached to you and your routines. Would you be open to even offering guidance when you do have a pregnancy? I do want to have kids. Um, I think we would have started having kids sooner if it wasn't for COVID delaying our wedding. My plan is not to stop moving when I'm pregnant. And I know that's probably controversial and it'll probably come with a lot of opinions from a lot of people, but I've only ever known movement. So in my stance, I've been an athlete my whole life and I'm sure things will be a little bit different and there might be a couple days or weeks where we do have to use workouts from the channel and upload them to you know, make up for a day where I have morning sickness or something, but I plan to actually move forward through my pregnancies with um, workout uploads. As much, yeah, as much as she can. Next question, I get this question probably every other day. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? So I am five foot eight. I weigh about 145 to 48 pounds depending on the day. However, I think a lot of people ask this because Dustin is six foot seven. So standing beside him, I always look really small, but <laughs> I'm five foot eight. He's six foot seven, 145 to 148. I'm like 237 right now. Do you ever plan on doing local meetup or drop-in classes like at college campuses? I love you guys and I've never been happier since working out with you. I'd like to work out with you in person. Yes, absolutely. We, When everything is kind of settled down with COVID, we have wanted to do like a fitness tour. One of the highlights of our company life, I think, was the meet and greets when we did those last year. Last year. Well, last year we had our first ever fitcation where people from all over the country and then flew in and we uh, rented out space and we had a DJ. Sydney did a workout, but our goal is to do those like more extravagant. So think chain smokers concert mixed with fitness workout. So you have fire or, flames. Yeah, smoke flames, DJ, subwoofers everywhere, Dustin things to do, activities. That's always been our goal. COVID, you know, just destroyed that. So Stop that. those and meet and greets are uh, as soon as COVID's over, uh, if we ever get back to normal, I should say, yeah. that's both of our biggest goals. We love concerts, so if we could bring that feel to fitness. Royal Change Tour, coming to a city near you. Next question is, how did you two meet? And there's like three other questions in that, but we'll just answer that one. How did we meet? Um, a girl that went to high school with Dustin was a college teammate of mine. She saw him on Facebook, or showed me him on Facebook, I guess, and I was like, oh hey, hello, you can give him my number. And so she gave him my number, we started texting. He then moved to DC to start a job, so we pretty much had a distance relationship for like three years mm -hmm. after meeting. And your life has been amazing ever since. You're welcome. <laughs> what happens when you reach one million subscribers? Does YouTube do something special for you? Uh, I don't think so. I think they just send a gold plaque. Next question, are there types of workouts that are harder for you in terms of mental strength slash motivation? I wanna ask this to Dustin because can you tell <laughs> which workouts I'm like <gasps> behind yeah. the, the camera? I would say anything cardio based or Pilates based. Um, That's true. Sid, ever since I met Sid, I was shocked because she was on the track team but she hates running and she hates cardio. So. Her favorite ones are gonna be like strength and conditioning, lifting as heavy as she possibly can, nothing cardio based, but I mean, she does enjoy doing it. Like it makes her feel better, but mm -hmm. mentally she doesn't enjoy it, but it makes her feel better. Yeah. yeah. How long after you get married do you plan to have your first baby? 15 minutes later. Somewhere around 30 to 15 minutes after. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm ready as soon as possible. Seems so scary. Like, I I feel like I can barely take care of myself. So, 
Just having a kid is just... You cannot tell me you're not excited to have kids, though. Yeah, I am. I'm just... Uh, He's gonna be really good. I feel, like, I feel like every day I'm just like, ah, oh, I can't even handle myself. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is what kind of self tanner do you use? I use Glow Body, G L O Body, and that's they have a website. But I also have a girl that comes to our apartment and does a spray tan on me. But it's Glow Body. Next question is as a company, where do you see Royal Change going in the future? So many ideas. There's actually billions of ideas, I think. But what we're currently working on is. Um, we're looking for a new studio space. So right now we're in like 1,300 square feet, but we're trying to get a lease right now on around 10,000 square feet. Our goal is to build four or five more sets, uh, be able to switch up the themes. Like, so whenever Sydney does a new program launch, we'll have a new set for it. We can keep things more appealing. And then we're getting ready to staff more people. So when we, have these different program launches. We've gotten so many questions about like, hey, can I have a shirt to go with this launch? Can I get a protein shake or coffee cup? Because that launch really meant something to me. That's where I started my fitness journey. Yeah. So in, in the 10,000 square feet, we're gonna expand our inventory line. We have some other exciting apparel news that we haven't told anyone yet, but uh, we're excited to start another venture. Yeah, I mean, there's just a lot and we wanna bring a better app. We wanna have more functionality and we wanna be able to bring the Sydney Squad to more people. We wanna beef up the Sydney Squad because we bring in registered dietitians, other doctors in there. That's where a lot of community happens. Uh, we just wanna continuously make that experience even better and we wanna offer it to people outside of Facebook as well. Repurposing content for yes. stagnant programs, uh, making sure that People get fitness education, whether they're working out at home or in the gym, is something that I want to actually bring to Royal Change so that I can help people that are in all types of situations in terms of their fitness routine. Um, in the future, of course, I hope to have a lot of programs on the website and then, you know, fitness equipment. Uh, I think the list goes on and on for us. It's just about right now establishing a team that can help and grow with us. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there, the sky's the limit. We have so many great ideas and I don't think we'll ever run out of those, but it's just making sure we have the right team locking arms with us and just moving forward in terms of growth mindset. Next question is, what is your pet peeve? So this is gonna sound super cliche and you're gonna expect me to say this, but it's negativity. I just, people talking about other people. It, it makes me so tired, stressed, and just, I think if you have the time to sit around and talk about other people or situations that you have kind of put yourself above, it's just exhausting. You could be doing something to better the world or better your situation more importantly. So I think it's just conversations and environments full of negativity. That's the worst for me. What about you? I would say a pet peeve for me is probably <laughs> Everyone's gonna laugh, but people eating or drinking when they make noise, so like loud swallows, chomping, if you chew it through your mouth open, uh, you make a lot of noise, you're a messy eater. Next question is how do you manage your nutrition, workout, and work? I'm a student, work part-time, and have other family responsibilities, and of course getting a little bit of fun in there during the day. So. Totally understand that. Uh, we are also super busy, so I come at this question with full relatability. Um, I think it's just, you keep it simple. You, you have your top priorities, which are different for everyone, but for us, it's you know our business, our fitness, eating well so that in, in all of those aspects of life, we can actually function well, getting enough sleep. And I think you just kind of make a priority chart. You know What's most important to you? Keep it simple. Keep nutrition super simple. And then from there, make sure you're getting enough water and sleep and then fill in those hobbies or fun items when you have time throughout that. But I think prioritize and keep everything super simple. I always say nutrition. My theme for nutrition is KISS, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it super simple. We will make this the last question, but I think we actually get this question a lot as well. How do you run a business with your partner? Do you ever find it difficult? Do you have any advice or tips on going into business with your partner or family members? Uh, well, you have a quick well, answer to that one. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we get this question a lot, but it's really, I feel like the people that usually ask this or how do I fix my relationship with my partner, it's usually something that like, we, we don't have the right words to fix. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is hard working with Sid sometimes because if Sid does something that, you know, I don't want her to, or I do something she doesn't want me to, or bothers either one of us, it's a lot harder to say things. But luckily, 
we both have the exact same vision pretty much. We both have the same work ethic pretty much. So I think that makes things a lot easier. Where I, I think it's hard is when two people start dating or get married that truly aren't the same person or have the same interests or beliefs or thoughts, then they try to go into business and like the the motivation or like the pure genuineness of that work relationship isn't there. So then it creates turmoil in the rest of their relationship as to where I think this would have happened regardless. I think that was one of Sid's questions. What would you be doing if you weren't on the YouTube channel? But the reality is we were already doing this stuff, but just on a smaller scale for like around Charlotte. Right, and I would say advice for people who are looking to get into it, just kind of like Dustin said, make sure your, your vision long term lines up, make sure you're pretty similar in how you think you should go about it. Uh, every day is not perfect, every day is not funny and glorious and just hilarious laid back. There's a lot of stress, there's a lot of arguments, but I, I think my best piece of advice after establishing that common ground is over communicate. Talk constantly about what you're thinking you should be doing for the future, what you're planning on doing as far as strategy, what you're planning on, on tackling next. Um, how can you help me understand where you are? How can I be a, a better partner to you in this way? And you know, tell me what you're thinking. Here's everything I'm thinking. Yeah, and I was gonna say too, I think a lot of people that go into business together, like they're, they almost compete against each other. So like this one, this person wants to be like, oh, I did this today, what did you do? And then they're just always battling where me and Sid, we're actually not working with each other that much. So everything that I'm not good at, she does. Everything she's not good at, I'm doing. So she's, you know, I'm doing the videography, the business side, all those different things. And Sydney's handling the FaceTime, the motivating people and giving them information about personal training. And, and, and then we both come together at certain pieces of it. I think we offset each other in a good way. So uh, we're, as much as we're different, we're the same. Yeah, a good balance. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here. And that is the conclusion of our house tour and our 700,000 subscriber Q&A. Thank you guys so much, first of all, for 700,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that at the red button below the video. Tell your friends about the channel. But we're gonna keep doing these vlogs, hopefully more consistently. Sorry if this was choppy. We're trying out kind of a new camera setup. We always use a ton of equipment, so we're trying to just downsize so we can make more of these more frequently. Let you in on the progress of the house our first new home together and a Royal Change headquarters coming soon. We're gonna keep you updated on that and just everything behind the scenes of the workout. So I appreciate you guys even being interested in this. I hope you liked it. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned for our next vlog, hopefully very soon. <laughs> Bye guys.